Oh, but that was my most beautiful book. <laughs> AA was one of the places one would go to, you know, in 2005, 2006. There weren't that many places, and I suppose everyone went to AA, so it was very important. It gave a way for me to try and enter and get to know Hong Kong. Now, the genesis of this particular course was because of a workshop that was held at AA, and it was about teaching Hong Kong art history. At the end of it, I was, I was getting rather frustrated. This, so many of these discussion points was about how it cannot be taught, and I just couldn't understand why this is so. In introducing people to the possibilities and importance of archives to artistic practices in Hong Kong. Okay, so that's part of the reason why they're so important. And I was thinking whether there's a different way, which is different from the way that we would normally teach art history. What about the material for doing as a form of curating, a curatorial way of rethinking that they say? I still get emails from students telling me about, you know, they remind me about this class, how much it meant to them, and why they're doing what they're doing. And I think one of the great things about Asia Art Archives, it sets up an environment that's not so intimidating. And so it's a very open content. I hope that, that will continue to grow in a way that makes it very accessible for people who are interested in studying and researching or just learning about art in Hong Kong. Or well, not just art in Hong Kong, but in Asia itself, because let's face it, they were one of the earliest institutions in Hong Kong that really challenged the idea of how we think about Asia.